Hi, welcome to this video in which we are going to be looking at cleaning of solar PV panels. On this channel Synergy Files, we aim to inspire budding engineers and technicians for a better more sustainable world, so please do subscribe to our channel. As one can understand that dust settling on solar panels or soiling of solar panels can have a notable negative impact on the overall output. Now, there have been different values reported in literature on the level of power drop one can expect because of dust and the value depends upon the nature of dust and its thickness. The drop of up to 30% has been reported. Large-scale PV farms are mostly installed in arid areas. Such areas are generally dusty because of lack of vegetation. Although it has been reported that just a frequent 20 mm rainfall is enough to wash the dirt from the panels, but in many areas along the sun belt, rainfall is seasonal. Therefore, for large solar farms, there are two methods for cleaning solar panels that are normally used. Number one is manual cleaning and number two is automatic cleaning. There is also a third way that is lesser known and is very cost effective and is nearly maintenance free. We will reveal that at the end of the video, so please do watch this video till the end. So let us first address manual cleaning. Manual cleaning involves the use of brushes similar to those used for cleaning windows. These brushes are often water fed and have telescopic mounts for hard to reach areas. Not only can they help in cleaning panels in a solar farm, but also they can help for roof mounted solar panels without the need of climbing up to the top. There are also rotating brushes available that operate pneumatically. The disadvantage of this mechanism is that it requires manual effort and solar panels which are otherwise maintenance free require due diligence for cleaning. Let's look at automatic cleaning. There are machines that are guided by rails or surfaces that can travel along large arrays of solar panels. These machines have both brushes and water sprays for thorough cleaning. They are particularly useful for large scale solar farms. Some of these machines can be easily mounted and dismounted so to clean string of panels that are not connected together. There are sensors on these machines that can determine the level of dust and can use brushing speed and set water usage accordingly. On a smaller scale, semi-autonomous and autonomous robots are available that can do the same job. These are similar to vacuum cleaning robots that you may be already familiar with. Many of these robots are under development while others are made to order. Now the final method that needs to be mentioned is the self-cleaning glass. This is the certain type of glass that is available in the market and does not allow dust to settle on it. This glass is extremely hydrophobic or hydrophilic and any moisture that lands on it simply rolls away. In the process of rolling away, the moisture also sweeps away the dust. Even bird droppings landing are not deposited on the glass surface, particularly if it is at an angle. Now if your PV panel does not already have a self-cleaning glass, then you can purchase a coating spray that will make your existing panel super hydrophobic. These coating sprays contain titanium oxide particles that are chemically safe and inert. Link to these sprays are in the description section. Now even if you have a cleaning mechanism in place, it is a good idea to coat your existing panels with this ultra hydrophobic spray. This way any moisture on the surface will be removed by the action of gravity, taking away any dirt that lands on the surface too. This also ensures that you use little or no water at all for cleaning your panels. Note that using fresh water for cleaning panels is not a sustainable practice, particularly in areas that are water strained. And with this, the video is concluded. If you like this short video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to receive more such information. Thank you for your attention.